For cattle producers in every part of the country, bovine respiratory disease, or BRD, remains a big challenge. Commonly known as shipping fever or pneumonia, BRD is without question one of the costliest diseases in the cattle industry today. It robs U.S. producers of about $1 billion each year due to death, reduced performance, treatment, and of course labor. BRD has a broad range of pathogens that cause it, and producers can't always control or avoid certain stressors such as weather and transportation that can leave cattle vulnerable. In this special edition of Cattlemen to Cattlemen, we'll share a wide variety of insights from producers and veterinarians to learn more about how they address the challenges of BRD, as well as the solutions they use to help keep cattle productive and healthy. First, let's visit an Oklahoma stocker operation to hear how BRD impacts their business and what management tools they use to control it. PNR Livestock is a stalker cattle operation. We buy stalker calves out of cell barns and we start them on grass and grow them till they weigh about 800 pounds till we market that animal. We've been in business uh, 25 years. Uh, we've been in Oklahoma 15 years. Uh, we're originally from Mississippi and uh, we moved out here in 2006. There are differences. We have less rainfall um, and we have more seasons here. And uh, so that is a big difference in how the cattle start. Uh, we have maybe a shorter grazing season here, uh, either in the spring, summer, or, or in the winter. However, we have more opportunities here with summer grazing being much more effective or economical here. When we buy these cattle, they weigh about 300 pounds coming straight out of the cell barns. And as soon as we get them, we try to get them in a chute and process them and then turn them out as fast as possible. It's important to get them in and out quickly because it's less stress on that calf the, the quicker you do it. If you hold them in the pens for two or three more days or they're on a truck for a full day, it's a lot of stress on them and it's more of a high risk to BRD. Respiratory disease is just part of what we do, okay? And we understand it. Uh, we're confident in our, our, our regime that we use to treat with. We're confident in our, our eye of picking those six out. Uh, we're good at picking them out early. Uh, our challenges are genetic differences in our calves. And that's the, the big challenge in the type of animal we buy, is if you buy 100 calves, they, chances are they came from 100 different places. They all have a different genetic makeup. And so they're all different. And understanding that helps you get them on a, on a fast track and get them going. Here at this operation, they focus on high-risk cattle. Maybe you'd call them uber-risk cattle. I think they do a really super job here in trying to tailor their program, the way they handle the cattle and get them started and, and ready to get out into the pasture. We've had the same protocol for 20 years, okay? We don't change it. You know, it's, it's very simple. Nothing, nothing magic about it. Uh, my, my opinion is less is better at the processing. We try to buy them uh, during the day and process them that night or first thing the next morning. Uh, while the cattle are still uh, in that cell barn mode, we get them processed and get them out. Uh, it keeps them fresh and we're able to get some nutrition in them and we don't have to bring them back through. We do very minimal at the chute and the first thing we want to do is train them to a feed truck, a dog and a horse. And once we get them broke to that, we can control them, we can handle them, we can make our pulls very easy. Depending on the time of year, uh, the pulls will come fast or come slow, depending on the time of year, and we, we realize that and we understand that. And so, uh, really, that's what we do. So respiratory disease is important. It doesn't matter if you're at the beginning of the, you know, the cycle of cow-calf or you're at the finishing phase and everything in between, it's really important. It probably reaches its height of importance in the stalker phase or the backgrounder because that's right after weaning. And uh, so that group of producers 
really sees the, might feel the brunt of those respiratory problems. And they're also subject to any poor management that went on ahead of time.